Hello YouTubers, and yes, I know what you're thinking, hooray, Darwin's gift is back, he hasn't made enough videos lately. Well, maybe you're thinking that. Anyway, no, I have not been making enough videos lately, but what I have been doing is I've moved house. I've moved house, changing around my life, changing my lifestyle, so that I can free up time to spend more time making videos for you guys. Anyway, <clears throat> the thing is, I'm quite excited this week. And why am I quite excited? Well, you might ask that. Well, locally, the national, well, it's not national if it's local. That's rubbish, isn't it? Anyway, locally, the Secular Society, which closed down some years ago, is reopening and a lot of us are getting together. So a lot of us don't actually know how many yet. But basically, we're reforming a local secular society, as lots of members of the National Secular Society have sort of got together and um, been saying, why haven't we got a group in the Northamptonshire area, which is my area. And quite excited about this. Um, don't know anybody that's, uh, that's going yet, but I'm looking forward to meeting like-minded people. Because Although I do have friends that are atheists, and they will agree with me, I find that I'm mostly talking to them, they're not really talking to me. And I believe it or not, I actually do like discussion, and, and I do like talking about these things, and I like people to be actually interested in them. But why do we need a local sec secular society? Humanist group, or whatever you want to call it. I actually don't like the, the term humanist group, but I'm quite willing to put up with it. I'll go into that on another video. But... Why do we need one? We often hear on lots of YouTube videos, lots of um, things that uh, lots of people say, getting atheists together is a bit like herding cats. And this was obviously something that was brought to attention in Richard Dawkins' The God Delusion, and it's often quoted. But, and it's a big but, we really, really do need a local group in many local groups, in fact, and a secular society, we need to get together. And we need to get together because it's exactly what the religious people are doing, and they're doing well uh, getting together. Apart from the fact that you get lots of like-minded people together, in my case, what I like to see as a group of sensible people discussing sensible issues, um, religious people like to get a lot of people who are a little bit on the, oh, God did it, uh, a bit daft, um, perhaps, in my opinion, um, a bit sort of naive, and they like to get together um, to, because if they were obviously to talk to people like me, we'd laugh at them. So I don't want to be laughed at in an atheist group, but uh, I wish I hadn't started that. Can I not? Can I start again? No, I'm not going to start again because I did a video earlier and it was crap and I scrapped it because it was 20 minutes long. Far too long, so now I'm really going fast. Anyway, we've got this society coming together. And um, why is a minority group good, right? Minority groups do have impact. They do influence what happens. We know this from cases like uh, the Jews, for instance, in North America, USA. Um, over there you see, you hear, it's fine, probably about 2% of the population is Jewish. And yet they have a huge political influence. And why is this? Over here in Britain, we have so-called Muslim groups, Christian groups, um, all coming together and influencing politicians. And we really do need local secular groups to put their two penneth in, as we used to say. Um, <laughs> that's an old English term, and tuppence in, put your little bit in. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah. You see, if a lot of groups are getting together and influencing their local politicians and saying, uh, you know, we can help you if you help us sort of thing. You scratch our back, we scratch yours. They do find that they get a little bit of political influence. They get political influence, they get that. And um, we need to be there to counteract that sort of thing. Down with that sort of thing, as, as I saw one banner once with uh, against the Pope. Um, which comes from a Father Ted quote, um, down with that, anyway. <sighs> I'm turning this off, I'll come back when I'm in a not so silly mood. Okay, well a group of us could get together. Things that you can do when you're a group, 
It's amazing. I can make these little videos, single person speaking out. It's not enough. I do need backing, and local backing at that. I particularly dislike things like halal meat, the throat cutting, the, the non-stunning of the animal, the butchering of the animal. I find it uh, deplorable. I would love to be in a group that could raise these issues. Um, other issues that obviously, like homophobia, sexism, um, are issues that I'm willing to fight for. And they're the sort of thing that a secular group will do. Uh, overpopulation is probably going to be a little bit of a... Uh, it's one of those subjects which I, I strongly feel strongly that uh, we ought to speak out about. Um, but again, this would be a subgroup of the local group and of course a national, national type of issues that you can bring up. Bigotry and moral misguidance through religion um, is something that must be fought and the local group, I believe, can contribute to that. You can raise awareness through evangelising and evangelising, once again, on a local level is something that religion does and it's certainly something I feel that... that um, atheism or, or secularism can do. Charitable work is not just the sort of thing, things you do if you're a Christian or, or charitable Muslim. Or, and it's not religious based. Charity work can be done by any group. And often, in fact, charity groups are quite amusing. Um, I know there's a local one and, and I can't help but be a little bit weird about it. it it's a group that's called, or something like, the North Ants Afro-Caribbean Elderly Society, which, on, on the face of it, is okay, I suppose. The thing is, if you look at that name, and I often see their van going past, and it's got lots of elderly Afro-Caribbean people in it. The problem with that is, it's a local society in, a, in a Britain, and it's raising money, and it's obviously charitable, it's raising money just for Afro-Caribbean elderly. Well, although I haven't got any issues with that, and it seems a bit funny, I just look at it and I go, well, what if we were to have um, a local charity that said something like, um, whites only elderly, or you know, North Ants elderly society, whites only, something like that. It would be uproar. It would be, be disgraceful, wouldn't it? So. I don't know why I'm waffling onto that. I just thought of it just then. It's just one of those things that comes into your head. But the point of that is that sometimes you have to be a bit careful what you do in a society but, um, and discuss it and reason it. And that's the sort of reasoning I think we all do. Saying that, I believe it's a group of elderly people that just sort of like going out for sort of more spicy and coconut milk based products. Um, dinners perhaps than perhaps Yorkshire you know, Yorkshire pudding and roast beef dinners with gravy, which is probably more to my taste and, and perhaps more of my culture. But, um, so perhaps that's why they get together. But, uh, yeah, I've got it. The North Ants Elderly Society like British cuisine. You'd probably get away with that. Ah, anyway, what am I waffling on about? I'm not going to make this too long, so I'm just carrying on. I'm really looking forward to this local society so that we can cover certain issues. And I hope it's going to work. There's so far, uh, it's just in a coffee shop, but there's about 25 people, I believe, that have already been um, sent emails saying it's on. Hopefully they'll have spouses, things like that. Who knows, social gatherings. Um, would be great. I actually miss that side that religion has, where they do have groups of people that come together and have social events. Um, I think that would be lovely if we had a local atheist group. And it died out in the past, and of course atheist groups should die out. Secular, a secular society's ambition really is to die out, isn't it? It's quite odd. But I don't think it ever would. Uh, the problem is there wasn't enough people um, looking after the last North Ants secular society. Uh, there was very few members. It wasn't popular enough, and that's the way it is. But uh, it's, it's only as good as its members, isn't it? I'm hoping this time, giving it a second chance, and it is one of the older societies, it's part of the... Uh, Charles Bradlaugh, for instance, was the North Ants MP, a Northampton MP. If you don't know who Charles Bradlaugh was, well, he was the actual founder of the National Secular Society, and the man uh, who was an MP for Parliament 
it was because of him that people could affirm um, away from, you know, in, in politics you didn't have to take the oath as it were. You could affirm. Anyway, he was like, he was as big as Richard Dawkins in his day. But it was a long time ago and people have forgotten him. I did do a video on him if you want to look him up. Anyway, so um, peace for now. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I will let you know how we get on and what we discuss and, and hopefully what sort of people I meet. Um, and I look forward to spending more time on my uh, sort of atheism. Peace, bye.